Hey everyone, today I've got your Shazam movie review. Say my name so that my powers flow through you. What's that word? Shazam! <laughs> ah! Just say the word. Shazam! As far as the story goes, this next film in the DC Universe is finally here. And let me just say that I have been looking forward to seeing this movie literally all year and I couldn't be more excited to talk about it because I have been a huge DC fan and I'm loving the direction that the DCEU is going in so far so I'm just uh, really happy to see us finally, you know, you know, getting on track with what, you know, most comic book fans would probably want to see in a comic book movie. David F. Sandberg directs this movie that appears to be inspired by movies such as Big, Jingle All the Way, and dare I say Pan's Labyrinth. Now, the one thing I noticed right off the bat was how much it blends this light-hearted comedy with this dark tone in almost this terrifying way using, you know, certain visuals and uh, just imagery that I I'm just like, <laughs> I was not expecting that. I mean, the marketing campaign for this movie really kept things tight-lipped and maybe for good reason, which is another reason to see this movie. This is becoming a trend with DC as a predominantly horror uh, director, uh, even after James Wan, are basically at the helm with these movies. I don't know if that's going to happen in the near future, that this is the direction that we've probably been wanting to see. Maybe not too dark, not too light, just somewhere in between. And that's literally what you get here in this movie, and I absolutely loved the concept of this film from the get-go. It brings attention to how much family can mean to someone who needs them the most, even in the darkest of times, and just seeing all of that transpire really touched me, and it's something that you don't really get to see often in movies like this, and it's something as simple as, you know, having a family dinner, and they're all together, uh, no matter what, through any kind of circumstance. I just loved how you can see the change of direction with the film's plot using those guidelines. As far as the casting goes, you've got Asher Angel who plays Billy Batson, and I really loved his character in this movie. Of course, the last time I saw him was on Disney Channel, and I know like he is definitely a talented young man. So I think him pulling off this character who is now living in a foster home and he, you know, he's the type of guy who you would want to have around in a sticky situation, whether he is Billy Batson or you've got Zachary Levi who uh, he turns into to play Shazam and he is just absolutely hilarious in this role. I mean, he gives off so many different emotions, and even with his facial expressions, I mean, he, his comedic timing is uh, one of the best that I've ever seen, and I actually have never seen the show Chuck. I don't know if you guys have, but uh, hey, I've seen Tangled, so I know he is definitely uh, a good singer, along with Asher Angel as well. He just pulls off this superhero persona uh, I, I just think is one of the coolest superheroes that I've ever seen, even if it's uh, kind of childish at times, but it's a child in a man's body. Who doesn't love that big concept? And you've also got Jack Dylan Grazer, who plays Freddie Freeman, and he's best friends with Billy Batson, and I think he's got a lot of good scenes in this movie as well as seeing the rest of the kids that are a part of this foster home who all come together in such a cool way. You know, some of them got to shine more than others, which I did love. So they're not just a bunch of, 
you know, random side characters that you don't really want to care about because you will. Now, you've got Mark Strong, who is back in the DC uh, game since Green Lantern as Dr. Savannah, and he plays this type of villain that is intimidating. He's uh, just cunning and witty and maybe at times even charming and you know he's got these powers that are feared by many but he is someone you just do not want to mess with especially in this one scene that really had my jaw drop to the floor I mean he was not playing around he's definitely got a few sins uh, up his sleeves and not tricks so <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome. So the things that I liked about this movie was that the horror elements of this movie were perfectly used by David F. Sandberg due to his previous expertise with this genre. And when you add that on with this dark fantasy, with these seven deadly sins creatures that come out, I mean, it's just, it's pretty crazy to see why this movie has, uh, just this perfect blend of different things going on and my face hurts so much because of how many times I was smiling watching this movie. I mean I had uh, such a good time laughing and uh, I was just amazed at how detailed everything was and I just really felt immersed in this world and uh, seeing uh, you know references to other DC characters uh, throughout the film. I mean, the last scene of this movie, I won't spoil it for you guys, but it had me dying of laughter because uh, even if certain things were not exactly showy about it, it was still <laughs> pretty cool, which is why overall I would say that this movie, uh, that Shazam really was something else, something unexpected, but still everything I hoped it to be. So I'm really glad that I got a chance to see it and I hope you guys too. So I would highly recommend seeing this movie. Definitely uh, stay, you know, for the credits. And I would give this five hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Shazam. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, coming every week for a chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.